the St. Augustine Inlet connects the Intracoastal Waterway to the Atlantic Ocean at the point where the Talamato and Matanzas Rivers converge. The inlet separates Volano Beach to the north from Conk Island to the south. The inlet bears the name of the city of St. Augustine, which lies to its west. Currently the county seat of St. John's County, Florida, it was founded in 1565 by Spanish explorers and is the oldest continuously inhabited European established settlement in the contiguous United States. Rich in history and home of the 17th century Spanish fort, Castillo de San Marcos, the area continues to attract many tourists. While the St. Augustine Inlet is heavily used by local mariners, visiting boaters should be aware of potentially hazardous conditions when wind meets current or in stormy weather. Cross the inlet only with advanced local knowledge from a reputable source and consider following an experienced boater the first time through. The shallowest portion of the inlet is around the uncharted outside markers, which are moved frequently by the Coast Guard in response to shoaling to indicate the deepest areas of the inlet. Approaching from the north near ICW mile marker 775, pass under the 65-foot clearance Eusena Fixed Bridge carrying Route A1A traffic over the Talamata River. Keep the river's green-lighted marker 57A to port and the Volano Boat Basin Obstruction Day Beacon 3 far to your starboard as you head between Tolomato Lighted Buoys Green 59 and Red 60, where you turn sharply to port to go east through the inlet proper. Approaching from the south near ICW mile marker 778, pass under the 16-foot clearance Bridge of Lions Bascule Bridge carrying Route A1A traffic over the Matanzas River. The bridge alternates between opening on the hour and half hour and opening on request with special holiday hours, so check the schedule in advance. Keep Matanzas River Green Day Beacon 7 to starboard and Red 6A to port as you proceed north. Bear right to pass between the river's red lighted buoy 6 and Green Day Beacon 5. Continue northeast keeping Day Beacon 4 to port and then pass lighted red buoy 2A and go between red buoy 2 and lighted green buoy one. Keep the two Tolomato River markers red 60 and green 59 to your port side. The start to the inlet for cruisers from both the north and the south can be considered lat long 29 degrees 54.4 minutes north and 81 degrees 17.8 minutes west. Continue through the inlet running slightly north of east and paying attention to the uncharted markers that are moved frequently to address shoaling. Be aware of the dangerous mouth of this inlet, where shallow waters have been the site of numerous shipwrecks throughout 450 years of recorded navigation. Continue all the way past the sea buoy, St. Augustine Lighted Red and White Whistle Buoy STA, before turning north or south to run in the Atlantic. Consider the end point of your crossing to be lat long 29 degrees 54.9 minutes north and 81 degrees, 15.3 minutes west. Returning from the sea buoy, proceed slightly south of west toward the inlet, again paying close attention to the uncharted markers. A prominent landmark is a tall cross on shore, providing an approximate range to the inlet. While marker positions cannot be anticipated, typically the north edge of the channel is marked by five red buoys, two through ten, and the south side with three green buoys, three through seven. Stay close to and south of the red markers. If returning to the north, run a sufficient distance past the tip of the beach to the north of the inlet channel before turning north into the ICW. Keep Tolomato River ICW marker green 59 to starboard when turning and 57A to starboard as you proceed back under the Eusena Bridge. If returning to the south, the approach is roughly southwest toward the Castillo Large Stone Fort on the mainland. Remember to request a bridge opening if needed. Steer clear of the large shoal off Davis Shores on Anastasia Island to the south by staying close to lighted Red Buoy 2A and Red Day Beacon 4 to starboard. Continue south keeping lighted Red Buoy 6 and Red Day Beacon 6A close to starboard as you head for the Bridge of Lions. Only attempt passage through the St. Augustine Inlet in fair weather. Avoid this channel when the ebb tidal flow is opposed by medium to strong winds. 
Breakers can often be seen in the shallow waters bordering the channel, even in calm conditions. Navigational aids here are prone to frequent change to address the constant shoaling.